Hello, everyone. I'm going to be here talking about some shit I would want to see in Gears War 6 and some stuff I hope they do. But it doesn't really matter if they don't. But here we go. Auto Alright. So, anyway, about the Gears of War shit face. Alright. So, we're going to get into the customization shit here on some Gears of War 4, but we're going to be talking about some things. So, the changes I would want to see in the next Gears of War game would be like how it works with like the customization here to see literally the camos and the characters all in one section, even the emblems. Emblems were awesome. Even to the markers, that would be kind of cool to have them back in the next game. So, here's the way I would want it. I would want the cog to be there, swarm to still be there. That would just be where weapon skins are, and then emblems, and then markers at the end. So, it just make it easy as hell, but the camos would just be set in one thing, so you don't have to mess with like three things that Gears were four. It was kind of stupid. And the customization in Gears of War Tactics for the characters, that would be really awesome to see. I would love to see that in the next game, if they're really going to do it and all that. Even to the weapon attachments to the weapons in Gears of War Tactics, so that was kind of interesting. But I don't know how that might play out at all. I don't know. But we will see how that goes. But the customization to the armor detail whatever you wanted to do was awesome because you could put like some cool details even change the color on the armor that was fucking awesome um even too they had executions that was kind of cool some of them were like i don't know some were not really that great to me i didn't care for at all but executions were something kind of new with some new ones I didn't mind. I think that was actually a new take with years, and I liked. It. Not too bad. Um, anything else? I would say we're gonna. I'm gonna take this back real quick. So Gears War Two, there was a time that you can easily just go up to an enemy and then you get them down. Hit Y, instantly just do a quick execution. It would be a curse stomp, or just three punches in the face, and done. You move on. I wish it was be that because they brought back the execution of the curse stomp but they just didn't brand back in the right way in my mind because i wish the white button was still that to this still this to this day i wish they kept it like that but they did not they just tossed the idea away for ages but i wish that was a thing still to this day i wish they would bring it back all right so, the next thing we're going to talk about is Horde. Real quick, a lot of foreign Horde players and Horde fans of this game. That would be kind of cool to see some new changes with it in the next Gears of War game. The Fabricator was awesome. I loved it. It was cool. The classes in Gears of War 5 were kind of awkward when they had abilities. Didn't fit at all in this game. Get rid of the fucking abilities. They sucked ass. But what they need to bring into Horde is having your own customization class in this section. You can mess with and have. That would be kind of cool. So you can set whatever you want to play with and have at your disposal because it's Horde. It doesn't really fucking matter. But I wish there would be that type of system in this game for Horde because it needs it. Really badly because it would be nice enough to have it like that. Because I think Horde deserves that. To me, and a lot of other players would probably feel the same way. Horde needs his own class set up. But for Horde only. But anywho, we're going to get out Horde versus real quickly and talk about something real fast. Versus need to have its own little section to choose whatever fucking game mode you want to play at any time. Doesn't matter if it's just not ranked at all. It should be whatever game mode you want to choose. You want to play ranked, you can play ranked. But if you want to play anything you want, it's right there. Like it used to be in Gears of War 3. To me, it would be awesome like that. Because it was just simple. But 
if they want to make it much more better in a better way, just have it just the nice, calm games on just not not even one by one. Just have it separate in any game mode you want to play. Rank the same way because they do rank this normal like it would be for us to play any game mode. But in rank, just do it. Like just do social just with every other game mode you could choose. Not put it on one. Just make it separate. Not on one. That would make it a lot more better. Just saying. That would make it a lot more better and much more fun. But the last and not least few two things here is the uh, the store here, real fast, real fast, is some things about it that I would love to see. I want to see those. I, I want to see them bring this back because I didn't hate this. The only thing I hate about it was they put characters in these at the time. It sucked pretty ass. But what would be better for it? It would have been better if they just kind of kept it as this, you know, skins, emblems. And all that type of thing I thought I think it would be better if they would just make it like you know emblems camos armor sets whatever you know for the next game with all the armor or attachments or something I, I don't know what they might do but I just hope they do it in a fair way or some sort that it would be up to like I don't know about attachments. I think they're going to do something different if they're going to put attachments in the game. But, anywho, it'll be, you know, armor sets, skins, type of skin things, or whatever you can do with weapons, uh, emblems, markers, all that good stuff. Nothing, you know, bullshitty. Even the bounties to do as well in Gears of War 4. How the bounties back, but not just keep it only with the COD characters to do whatever the fuck you want to do as cog to win for victories do something for your fucking swarm for once that'd be kind of cool but last but not least is the ribbons the ribbons were actually pretty fun to have the one ribbons i do miss having and to have in gears of war were the ones that you got up to five kills or 10 or you know 15 or 20 or 25 and 30 that was really cool. I missed those a lot from Gears War 3. But uh, that's all the shit I have in my mind to talk about in this game for Gears War 6. I not, I'm not going crazy about the game. I just want to hope to God they do it great and do a good job for it. Because if they don't do a good job for it, Gears of War 6 just has no hope. Gears of War will have no more hope for it. Because I don't think the fans are really going to give two shits about Gears of War if it's not going to go great. The same. But anywho, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Enjoy whatever I want to talk about to you for Gears of War 6. I know a lot of people don't give two shits about Gears of War, but it's whatevs. But if you guys did enjoy, give it a thumbs up. It'll help me out a lot, and I'll appreciate that. But if you guys want to leave a comment on anything I have talked about to you guys, leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to subscribe to see more content, because I'm going to try to get more content out for you guys to keep you guys interested in the near future. But I hope you guys do enjoy. Join the Wolfpack Army and be the gang. Wolfpack gang. I will love to my death. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.